How in the world does a one gauge digital dash work? Well, it all starts with the one gauge hub, which is the brain of the entire operation. On the one gauge hub, there's two rows of screw terminals. And on the main sensor row, you start with your 12 volt power input. And then there's a five volt power output, a 12 volt power output, and then a row of analog or resistance based inputs. This one has a two wire temperature sensor. Moving on, we have seven linear five volt inputs, which take things like pressure sensors and AFR sensors. We have a combo sensor here, as well as a standard pressure sensor. For AFR and O2 sensors, we just use the linear five volt outputs that most of them come with. We also have five 12 volt indicator inputs for things like turn signal and check engine light, two RPM or VSS inputs, which are used if you aren't getting speedo or RPM data from a GPS or ECU connection. This customer has the RPM data as well as coolant temperature and other readouts coming from an OBD2 plug and is using our race spec GPS for speedo, odometer, altitude compass, and lap times. All this data is being displayed on a one gauge standard seven inch LCD inside of this 1992 to 1997 Ford truck and Bronco cluster. Uh, this screen in the video still has a protective film on it, so it's a little less sensitive to touch. But as you can see, you can cycle through over 40 pre-designed gauge layouts. Uh, there's a lot to pick from, and we can also custom design one for you. All of our standard LCDs come with a pretty expansive settings menu where you can adjust your temperature, distance, and fuel units, and your pressure units. You can adjust your tachometer calibration, your VSS calibration, your fuel center calibration, and all that. Uh, this is a pretty simple unit that has standalone sensors and an OBD2 plug, but you can also add things like relays, which are automatic or manual control, TPMS sensors, EGTs, and various other things. We've built so much custom stuff for so many different vehicles, whether it be combines and tractors, snow cats, uh, sled pulling, four wheelers, mopeds, motorcycles, drag cars, bracket cars. Uh, bugs, you name it, we've built it and we've done so much custom stuff. So if you have something you want and you don't know if we offer it, just ask and we'll let you know.